Runt the warrior and Natasha the wizard are traveling on the road to Westbrook when suddenly from out of the forest jumps, oh, that stupid tree fell over the, and, oh, mother, mother, oh. and this is the problem with trees. Today I'll show you how to base these trees so they never fall over for just a few cents and a couple of minutes on Dungeon Craft. So the problem with trees, whether you buy them from a craft store or a train store or from Games Workshop, is they're top heavy and they always fall over. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Pick up a dozen or so medium sized metal washers from the hardware store. These will run you 50 cents, less than a dollar probably. Take your glue gun and just glue your tree to the surface. Pull or cut away those annoying little spider webs of glue. Glue around the entire base of the edge. Acrylic craft paint won't stick to metal, so you want to cover the entire surface with glue to give that paint something to stick to. Work your way up closer and closer to the trunk, right up to the trunk itself. After the base is dry, you're going to create roots by squeezing the trigger at the base of the trunk and pulling away from it. Just like real tree roots, they'll be thicker at the trunk and thinner as you pull away from it. After about two minutes they'll be dry and the weight of the glue and the base will create a counterweight that balances the tree, making it just about impossible to knock over. I paint the trunks with cheap dark brown acrylic craft paint like that you get in the hobby store. This is not a real careful job, I'm just slapping the paint on. I have a reaper color call to rain khaki, it's sort of a grayish brown. I dip it in an old dry brush and wipe off the excess on a paper towel, and then I dry brush the base. This will highlight the raised surfaces, such as the roots. Notice I hit the trunk as well, so it's all one consistent color. Reaper paints are expensive, I usually reserve them for miniature figures, but in this case I really love that color. One or two drops will paint 8 to 10 trees. If you don't have terrain khaki, you could try mixing some tan with a little bit of gray acrylic craft paint. Next I apply the glue between the roots and I'm applying it with a brush which is perfectly fine as long as you wash the brush with lots of soap and warm water after you use it. Make sure you get between the roots not over the roots themselves so they're not obscured by the modeling flock. Dip it into some green modeling flock, shake off the excess and your tree is done in a matter of minutes. And now it's time to get the flock out of here. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist that bad joke. In any event, now you know how to modify a tree so it doesn't tip over. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, put them below. Subscribe for more great Dungeon Craft videos and share this video with your friends. This is Professor Dungeon Master for Dungeon Craft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the table and may all your rolls be 20s.